Jeremy Irvine once said, Determination becomes obsession, and then it becomes all that matters. This quote is strongly shown when it is seen through the perspective of those who have truly experienced it. I have some stories here about a few people who prove this point to be true. The first one happens to be about a king whose greed and obsession with gold got the best of him. Most of you might already know my story about how I was drowned by my riches, and yet it still wasn't enough. And so that's when I got my court magician to give me the power to turn what I touched to gold. I was thrilled until one day I was embraced by my daughter, Mary Gold. That's when my world had fallen to pieces. For the first time, I realized money had no value. I had to accept the fact that I'm the reason for my daughter's death. They told me I would be okay, but I realized I couldn't live on like this. So I did the one thing I could do, use my own powers against me. Now, who has suspected the king's life to end like that? But anyways, the next story is something different. It's not about a person specifically, but rather a group of people who feel the same way. I used to lay around doing nothing, no kind of exercise or activities to make me move. Couch potato, they called me. Soon, I began to believe them. My insecurities ate me. I was determined to change my body. I was no longer a comfort eater because food became my enemy. I went on diets starving myself until I was pleased with my appearance. However, I never was. In my own eyes, I was never normal. I was oversized, overweight, but now look at me, at what I have become. A lot of people envied my ability to lose weight so quickly. If only I had known when to stop. Now, please don't take diets and exercise to such extreme, or you're gonna look like this. Such a shame that so many girls, even boys, are devoured by this monstrous idea of the perfect body. Ah, this next one is one of my favorites. It's about a boy, a man I should say, a hot man, who just happens to be on my favorite show, Criminal Minds. <clears throat> I mean, how tragically his life ended. Uh... Most think I'm extraordinary, even unbelievable that I can read 20,000 words per minute and remember nearly everything. But I call myself a genius, so I must do what all geniuses do. That is, get smarter and improve myself. My goal is to read 100,000 words per minute and remember every single thing. So I practiced every day. I didn't sleep or eat. All I could think of, I need to get smarter. I read and read and read some more, till one day I could read no more. I lost my job at the BAU the one place where my life revolved around. But now I have nothing. So I warn you, think of my mistakes as your lesson, because at first what was a blessing is now nothing but a curse. Oh, why did he have to die now? Should have at least finished the season and then died. But anyways, the next, the last person I should say, is someone who most of you probably know. It's no other than Miley Cyrus. Don't get your hopes up. There's not going to be any twerking. Everyone knew me as Hannah Montana, the nobody's perfect girl. But I got tired of being a Disney star. I wanted to be something more. I wanted to show people how unique I am. I'm no longer the little rock star anymore. I'm now the new and improved twerking Miley. Hey, wait, did they say no twerking? Can. <laughs> but twerking isn't enough. I have to prove to people even more that I'm an adult now. So I began to drink. I mean, you have to be an adult to drink. Then began the drugs. My dealer gave me the best deals in return for an autograph. Then my life started going downhill. I became a druggie and alcoholic. My voice and look started to fade. Why was I so obsessed with changing my image? I was pretty and had an amazing voice, but now all of that was gone. So think before you act. For if it is really worth it. Damn that teddy bear, I told him not to twerk. Well, I hope these epitaphs have taught you a valuable lesson. Obsession is not healthy and it may turn against you, causing your life to fall apart.
This is what Rihanna does in her free time. Yeah. Look put pretty. On, put on my scarf. Watch Criminal Minds. <gasps> Just because of Spencer Reed, right? Yep. No. <laughs> I, like, I like everyone else, too. Sure you do. That's why you said everyone in Criminal Minds saw it and not just Spencer. Exactly. You just got to just didn't hear it. Okay.